How do Botox injections treat overactive bladder? OAB. Imagine a treatment that can help calm the overactive signals, causing urgent and frequent trips to the bathroom. That's what Botox injections do for people with overactive bladder. They work by targeting the muscles of the bladder directly. When injected into the bladder muscle, known as the detrusor muscle, Botox temporarily blocks nerve signals that tell the muscle to contract too often. This helps reduce the involuntary contractions that lead to symptoms like urgency, frequency, and urge incontinence. The way Botox works is quite fascinating. It prevents the releases of a chemical called acetylcholine, which is normally released by nerves to make muscles contract. When Botox blocks this chemical, the bladder muscles relax more, making it easier to hold urine and decreasing the sudden urges to go. Additionally, Botox affects sensory nerves in the bladder wall. It reduces the releases of other chemicals that send signals of discomfort or urgency to the brain. This means patients often feel less intense urges and discomfort, improving their quality of life. Botox also influences the reflex pathways between the bladder and spinal cord. In overactive bladder, these reflexes can become abnormal, causing frequent contractions. Botox helps modulate these signals, leading to better bladder control. The effects of Botox are not permanent, usually lasting between six to nine months. Over time, nerve endings regenerate and symptoms may return, so repeat injections are often needed to maintain relief. This treatment is typically considered for patients who have not found relief with lifestyle changes or oral medications. The procedure involves a simple cystoscopy, where a thin tube with a camera is inserted into the bladder. The doctor injects Botox at multiple sites within the bladder wall, usually avoiding the trigone area to lower the risk of side effects. While Botox can significantly lessen incontinence episodes and increase bladder capacity, it does carry some risks. These include urinary retention, where you might need to use a catheter temporarily or urinary tract infections. That's why careful patient selection and monitoring are important. It's important to note that Botox is not used for stress urinary incontinence caused by physical activity like coughing or sneezing. For those with overactive bladder, Botox offers a minimally invasive, reversible option that targets the nerve and muscle dysfunction directly. In the context of bladder health and bladder cancer, Botox injections are generally safe and effective, but patients with bladder cancer need thorough evaluation before treatment because the presence of malignancy can influence the safety and appropriateness of injections. Always remember, individual responses vary and it's essential to discuss with a healthcare professional to see if Botox is right for you. They can help weigh the benefits and potential risks based on your specific condition. Botox provides a scientifically supported approach to managing overactive bladder, helping many regain control and comfort in their daily lives.